Hi guys, uh, welcome to video number 136 and this time we'll actually talk about the condition formatting. Um, so you might have seen my other videos as well on the same uh, topic condition formatting and if you haven't then let me just tell you you have the two ways to look out for the videos either go to my website excelvblover.com and go to the tutorial and excel training and go to the excel video tutorial and uh, once you click on that you will be actually uh, you know taken on the uh, the video list uh, and in the meantime let me just open my this YouTube channel here as well you can look out for all these videos over the different uh, subjects indirect text functions how to deal with the workbooks so this is a VBA video so I have actually created a lot of playlist and you can search for the conditional formatting here and uh, this is the one which I am actually talking about right now so you have already five videos there you can go and watch right similarly um, in my this website as well uh, if I just click on this video tutorial uh, you will be on this page and here you can actually look out for all these videos conditional formatting so they are the same videos which are available on the YouTube channel so today I'm going to tell you something very exciting about the conditional uh, formatting which I have just actually uh, you know seen on the internet and I thought I like the idea so much that I thought why not to share with you so this is a kind of a, a conditional formatting which we are actually going to do today can you see this it's a star rating and you might have seen this a lot of time on the website you know when we actually go to some restaurant and we give the feedback or maybe to um, any you know um, uh, to a mall where we go and watch movie and then we try to give the reviews and there then you have these reviews in the form of this you know stars so if I give this rating let's say 4 you see that I have this uh, 4 if I try to give this rating as 1.5 then this is going to work like this 1.5 right so it looks very nice so today we are going to prepare this um, uh, you know this kind of a conditional formatting and it actually is very easy you really don't have to do anything just a formula a formula and rest is conditional formatting will do for you right so let me go to the next uh, sheet and uh, let's just remove all the data and uh, let me zoom out this now here I'm going to write my rating so let's say I'm going I'm going to write here the rating so let's say we have some ratings here 3 uh, 4.5 maybe 2 1.5 uh, 2 or maybe 5 maybe 4.5 and you know so many numbers you can add now we want to give this rating to uh, like five stars you know normally we have seen that ratings always comes in the five stars so five star is the best right and then according to the uh, you know the, the level uh, if we go down from the 5 to the 4 then that means the movie is still nice but I mean it is not exactly uh, you can say that it has if, if it doesn't have the 5 stars then obviously uh, it would not be counted as a great success but again 4 star means a lot right and if you if some uh, if a movie has let's say 1 or 1.5 stars then obviously we know that it means the movie is not really good right so let's create this uh, so I'm going to create this here in this uh, five cells let me select the five cells and then let's give this a border right and let's give this a thick border uh, remove the grid lines from this so there you go now and uh, keep this little to the left of the cell and now here you need to write the uh, numbers so I'm going to write here the numbers one two three four and five now what we exactly we want to do is see it's very simple if my this number is going to be less than this number if one is lesser than this three then I want to be you know uh, I want here one and similarly I two is less than this three so I want here one and three is less than three or equals to three then I still want one in case I have this number four which is less than which is not less than this three then I want to say that this should be zero so that conditional formatting should not have any you know effect should not when we are actually going to put in the conditional formatting by showing the stars you will understand it but I'm just trying to understand you the formula right so in case we have the four so what we want to do is uh, for this we want to display four because we are one two three four which is still less than or equals to 4.5 but the moment I reach to this level this uh, column 5 then what I want to do is uh, 5 minus 4.5 if it is giving me 0.5 then I want to display here as 0.5 right so this is the kind of a formula which I want to work on uh, because of the fact that when I go in the condition formatting let me show you when I click on the new rule 
and here I select this format all cells based on their file uh, values I click on the icon set and on this icon set I'll choose this option called star right so in this star I'll say that um, you have to convert this into number okay so here what we will do is we'll say that if the number is equals to or greater than one then I need the full star but if the number is less than 1 and greater than equals to 0.5 then I want this kind of a star you know partial star and if we don't have any value which is greater uh, which is less than um, you know uh, which is greater than 0.5 which means that less than 0.5 uh, then we actually want to show that star is you know as in like this blank star so this is what we are actually going to do and that's why my focus is to actually create a formula which can give us either 1 or 0.5 or 0 so that those things can be fit into this icon right and that's why you see that this is what exactly we are saying this is the blank this is this has nothing to do with this you know filled star because we have three here so we have already got three stars here the this one is empty if I put here three to four you will see that I'll start getting here four right so that's something which we are going to prepare and now let's see so it's very easy what you need to do is I'm going to say that if if my this value is less than or equals to this value right so I actually should get one value of true so this is going to be also a revision for you um, you know on the if function in value false I want to prepare another if we call it nested if right go and watch my videos on the nested if in case if you don't have any idea about the if so now value false means that if this one is going to be bigger if it is going to be greater than this three then what should happen then we would like to check that this minus this if it is giving me 0.5 okay then I want this number to be displayed as 0.5 otherwise I want this number as 0 right so what this function will do so first of all it will check that if one is, is smaller or equals to this three then immediately it will display one and it will not go further it will not go into this false parameter the function will stop but if this value is not going to be this logical test is not going to be found true then what will happen eventually is uh, then you know that would mean that the one the value which is here it is definitely going to be you know greater than this this value which is in the C2 so at that point in time I want to run a loop and I want to see that if we have the subtraction of this and this is 0.5 so I would like to display here as 0.5 but if it is not true then just give us this 0 right now you need to freeze them so let me just uh, freeze the row part here because if I drag this down then I don't want this to be D2 it should still be the this cell which is D1 however while moving from left to right this D should change to E so that I can have the comparison with the two similarly looking at the C2 uh, we need to actually freeze the column so this is what I will do and this is because see, I want to freeze C because if I move this left to right then C should not change to D because we want to do all our com you know comparisons with these values 3, 4.5, 2, 1.5 and so on which are on the column C similarly uh, over here I will again freeze the row part and here I will freeze the column part okay this is more of a cell referencing part where you freeze and where you don't freeze so I'll not go much into that uh, this is again a separate chapter so I guess we are done with this um, let's just quickly run this uh, and see that what value we are here so we got the one here let me just paste this here and see so I think we are doing good here uh, because we have the three ones here and this is uh, zero the moment I change this to 4 you can see here that I've got the 1 here the moment I change this to 5 this is going to be 1 the moment I change this to 1 this is going to be 1 very nice now let's go to the next step and create this 1.5 and see that what whether we will have this uh, 0.5 in the cell E2 or not right so awesome so this is how it is going to work because the difference between 2 and 1.5 is going to give you what it's going to give you 0.5 so definitely this if will run and it will give you back this 0.5 which you have mentioned here in this true parameter right so 
I think we are good to go. The only thing now is to just copy this formula down and uh, I can see here all the values correct now. So here we have 4.5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 0.5. If I change this to 5, I will get this 5. So this is nice. The formula is working. The only thing now you need to do is just select this entire table, go to the condition formatting as I was telling you and go to the new rule and in this option format all cells based on their values uh, select this option called icon set and click here icon style which style do you want so we want the this star so i'll select this star and pay attention here by default it is going to be percent so since we are dealing with the numbers so i'll get this number so when the value is uh, greater than or equals to one right so I want this full star the when the value is greater than uh, or equals to 0.5 but less than one then I we would like to see this half star right and uh, when you value have less than 0.5 which means 4.4 or 4.3 you know whatever then that should not be shown in the star uh, you know in this rating system so this will do for this condition so just press ok and I guess we are good to go so this looks very nice I guess we are through with this um, just align them in the center and we don't want to see these numbers right we don't want to see these numbers the numbers which are in the stars because stars itself they are actually reflecting the idea behind our this you know what exactly we want to convey you know to to our users so we'll just quickly go here and this time I'll not go into the new rule because new rule is already created so you can go to the manage rule and over here go to the edit rule and just click here show icon only right so you can press ok now see what will happen just apply it and there you go very nice so you have all the stars here based on these ratings so you can hide this um, you can hide even this portion or you maybe you can give this uh, you know white font so that we don't actually see that what is happening behind the curtains and this is how your rating system you can use you know in your dashboard or in any of the uh, project where you think that this can be fit right for example if you are working on maybe some projects you want to give them their rating based on their work or you know how the team the other teams or maybe uh, you know people uh, in the senior hierarchy they have given the feedback so you can prepare this kind of a conditional formatting right so i hope you like this uh, you um, must have liked this video and uh, so it was actually a very good uh, you know learning for me as well and uh, so I thought why not to go ahead and share this video so this is a that's it guys and this is the video number 135 and uh, I'll come up with some more interesting stuff with just one aim that you know I got to make you awesome in Excel and VBA and in case if you're looking for some training go to my this website and uh, look out for these Excel training courses and VBA training courses and you can you know let me know about uh, um, about this training program if you want to have this kind of a training program these are all the videos uh, so there are like you know 135 videos including this one you can watch you can write me you can uh, you know in case if you have some query and uh, I will go ahead and definitely try to help you by uploading some video on the your question right so thank you so much for now and I'll see you with some another exciting stuff bye bye take care